Hollywood hard hitters Clint Eastwood, Morgan Freeman and Matt Damon unite for Invictus. The true story of how Nelson Mandela joined forces with the captain of South Africa's rugby team to help unite their country. We were in London last night to meet the cast at the UK premiere. Clint Eastwood's latest movie, Nelson Mandela himself took over casting duties when he said that he'd like Morgan Freeman to play him in the movie of his life. And now that Invictus has arrived on the big screen, it's hard to imagine anyone other than Morgan as Mandela. Today, President Mandela takes office in Pretoria, balancing black aspirations with white fears. In the wake of apartheid, newly elected President Mandela believes he can bring his divided nation together through sport. And so he rallies South Africa's underdog rugby team as they make an unlikely run to the 1995 World Cup Championship match. Morgan stars as Mandela, a man in reality he calls a friend. And though the movie was shot in South Africa, Mandela didn't make it to the set to watch Morgan bring him to the big screen. He doesn't move around much. It's very hard for him to uh, move around so He's not called on to, and, and, and he wouldn't come to a, a movie set at all. I mean, sit around and watch paint dry. That's... And what about the cast and crew? How, how, did, how were the locals around them? I mean, what was the reaction oh, you got watching? Oh, they were very, you? very enthusiastic. We had a lot of the locals uh, as extras, you know, like fans in the, in the stands. You know, Why? They were very enthusiastic. They never, they never failed. They, they never let go of their enthusiasm while we were shooting. It was wonderful. And Mandela wanted you to play him in the movie of his life. Would you like anyone to, in particular to play you in the movie of your life? I'm waiting to see if there was another actor that comes along that looks enough like me, yeah. And so Morgan has played the president of America, the president of South Africa and God twice. So what's left? The devil. <laughs> You watch, it'll come. Matt Damon stars as Francois Pinard, the captain of the South African rugby team. But playing a rugby player was a challenge, even for Jason Bourne. Hey. Having trained so hard for this role, was it the most physically demanding role you've played, do you think? It was up there, yeah. Um, there was a lot of every day in the gym, and, and it was helpful that Clint shoots shorter days because uh, I could do the two hours after work every day and not... Uh, and still have a little time with my family. Yeah. Were you anxious sitting beside Francois watching this movie? What was it like getting his reaction? Yeah, well, I, I mean, he had read the script and, and he knew, you know, because some of it, obviously, you're always going to take some poetic license and some characters will be combined or some people, you know. Um, but, uh, but, yeah, there were moments in the film that, that kind of played out exactly like his trip to Robben Island. And I know that was really emotional for him. He actually told me after seeing it that he that he really got emotional and almost got up and walked out of the theater because his, his two sons were next to him and he just didn't want to be a total mess uh, in front of his boys and he it, you know just is very very emotional stuff and it's a powerful place and, it, and I think it brought back you know some stuff for him yeah what about Rugman are you a fan of the game I love the game I wish it would catch on in the States it's a terrific game for director Clint Eastwood the subject of Mandela was irresistible uh, interesting character, famous man, very charismatic man, and uh, and very uh, cr uh, creative in his approach to uh, solving the reconciliation problem of South Africa. For Francois Pinar, the rugby captain who's played by Matt Damon, it doesn't matter that Eastwood had to rework the story of the World Cup triumph slightly. Is what we see in this movie what really happened, or are we seeing a cheesy Hollywood version of events? I wouldn't call it a cheesy Hollywood version of events. It's incredibly difficult to take Mandela's life and rugby and, and tell the story in, in 134 minutes. There would be some Hollywood license, yes, especially you know when you're a, when you're a competitive person like I am, when you're looking at the team and the team is portrayed as a really soft team that wins. On, hey, we were not that soft. We were much better than that. Invictus hits cinemas this Friday.